hello 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 guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is drea from lake crochet if you like what you see please 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 like comment and subscribe to this video okay let's get into it so most of you know or you're here because this is a part two to my last video um the barbie inspired ruffled skirt that i'm making for my daughter for her birthday next week this is part two where we'll be working on the top okay guys I'm just gonna let you know in advance, there's never, ever, ever a good time to record in my neighborhood because for some reason, everyone likes to cut their grass every single day. So if it's a little noisy, I apologize. It's not that bad, but like you can hear it and it really annoys the hell out of me like every day. But what am I gonna do? So yes, that is my only disclaimer for this video. We're gonna get right into it. At first, we're gonna be using my five millimeter hook my scissors and the same colors that we used for the previous video, which was light pink, white, and uh, dark pink, okay? Okay, so like all of our videos, of course, we're gonna start with our slip knot and then we're gonna chain. As you can see, I'm already at my chain part because like I said, this is a part two to um, making her skirt and we're literally gonna be doing that same exact pattern for her top, so. With that being said, I chained up about 73, mm, 73, not 72, 73 chains um, to go around her chest area. I wish my chest area was that small. <laughs> but yes, to go around her chest area. This um, project, we're going to be doing a um, band for. So we'll be a band at the bottom of this top and then we'll start our work. So with that being said, we're going to chain up however many you need. Like I said, for my um, soon-to-be nine-year-old, she's pretty small, so she still wears about a size seven, eight. Um, so yes, I'm going to slip stitch into our first chain to close this off. All right. And then we're going to get started on our band to go around the bottom of our top. And initially, like I said in the last video, I didn't really want a band. I wanted just to be kind of like free flowing right into it, but I'm a mom who's not really, I'm, I struggle with like stomach out <laughs> for kids, but I know like she's getting older and a lot of the kids are doing like, you know, the little, just a little crop tops or whatever, especially for this Barbie theme. So in order for her to achieve this much stomach out, I put a waistband at the top of her skirt and I'm going to put a waist, well, a band at the bottom of her top so that it has more coverage. Okay. So let's get into it. I'm going to chain up one and two. I'm going to try to speak a little louder because like I said, they love to cut grass around here. So I chained up, okay, my two. And then all we're going to do is go into every stitch with a double crochet for this first row. Okay, guys, we're going into every stitch around with a double crochet. And then I will meet you back around um the front or the end or <laughs> the end of the row <laughs> okay guys we've made it back around with row one at one double crochet into every stitch slip stitch into our first to close it and now we are going to be chaining up one two turning our work and for row two for this band we are going to be double crocheting all the way back around of course but we are only going to be going into the big loops of each stitch okay now this is just my preference you don't need to do this stitch to make a band but i like the way this stitch looks and it also gives like a bit of a stretch to it so by doing your double crochet into your big loop i literally mean by just going into that one in the back okay so we're going to be doing it all the way around one double crochet into the back loop of each stitch if not you can just do one double crochet into every stitch around however you want to do it it all depends on you but that is what we'll be doing for round two okay okay guys we have approached the end of row two so first we're going to slip stitch into our first stitch and chain up two, turn our work. And this will honestly be my last row. I'm only gonna do up three because I don't need the band to be 
that thick around the bottom of the top. So I think three rows is more than enough. So we're gonna continue with the double crochet into the back of each stitch. Okay, all the way until we get to the end and then we're gonna move on to our cute little fun stitch that we did on the skirt in the previous video. All right, and just for reference, this is what it looks like when you crochet into the back stitch versus just doing them, you know, all the way across. It just gives it this nice little give, gives it like a, I don't know, a cute little design for a band. So, yeah, some might not think it's a difference. I just like it. So I crochet in the back of the stitch to give this look. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. So yes, we're gonna do this around. And this is our last row, three rows for our band. And we're gonna go right into our stitches, okay? Okay guys, I've now approached the end of row three. I'm gonna do my slip stitch. Chain one so I can cut off and change my color. And here is the band for the bottom of the top. Okay, guys, so I will be going in with my color white next to start because I believe that's the pattern that I have for the skirt. I'm just gonna be inserting my hook and adding my white yarn by chaining up two, turning my work. All right, and I'm just gonna add one more double crochet into that same exact stitch that I just worked into. Skipping the next and going into the next chain with two double crochet. Skipping the next and going into the next with two double crochet. That is the pattern that we did for the skirt, okay? Very simple. Okay two double crochet into every other stitch around guys two double crochet all right so i will meet you guys at the end okay guys i am done round one with my white i am now attaching my hot pink for row two. Of course, I'm chaining up two, turning my work, and we're doing the same exact pattern like we did in the previous video and like we did thus far of the two double crochet into these stitches, these holes, I'm sorry, into these holes, okay? And we all know what we're doing because, like I said, if you're here, you're most likely here because you did part one already of this project. So, yes, we are going to continue this pattern. For me, I think I'm going to do a total of about six to seven rows because her chest, you know, is flat and she doesn't have that much to cover. So I will be returning when I'm done the amount of rows that I need because we know what we're doing. And we're going to get into the main fun part of the tutorial uh -oh, when we come back, okay? So very quickly, we are putting two double crochets into each of these holes all the way around until we get to our desired height of our top, okay? I'll see y'all when I'm done. Okay, guys, this is where we are with the top. Super duper cute, all right? So now we are about to move on to our cute little fancy straps. So for the straps, all we're doing in the beginning is basically chaining up enough to go from the front to the back to go around your arm, okay? So however many chains that is 
Okay, so I already did one of my strips and I'm going to do the second one with you. So for the chain, we're simply attaching whatever color yarn we're going to use. Okay. And we're literally just making chains to start. And for the first strip, I believe I did about 43, 43 chains for my daughter. So you just size it up to what, you know, the size would be from about here to the top of the um, crop top in the back. Okay. So that's two, three, four, five. Okay, I have my chains and then I'm just going to align my front with my back, which would be a good part to put in the back. Slide my hook through and just attach this strap to the back with like a slip stitch. Okay, so now we're connected. So now that we have our strap attached, we are going in. Here we are with our ruffles again. We are going in each of these stitches with three double crochet. Not one, not two, but three, because this is the only row that we'll be making an increase in, okay? So we're doing every stitch around this sleeve, okay, or the strap. We're doing three double crochet into each of the stitches, okay? And that's simple enough for the first row. All right, three double crochets into the first, I'm sorry, three double crochets into every stitch around. All right, and I'll meet y'all at the end because y'all know what y'all doing. <laughs> okay, guys, so we have our first row of ruffles done. Super cute already. Even if you just do one row, we'll just do like a ruffle sleeve, fine, but no, we're going above and beyond. So for row two, we're going to do one double crochet into every stitch around, okay? One double crochet into every one of these stitches around for row two. So of course, at the end of our row, we are going to chain up two, turn our work, and go into each stitch with our one double crochet one double crochet into every stitch all the way around the sleeve okay and then i'll meet you guys back around the end okay guys so i am approaching the end of row two of my one double crochet into each stitch I am now going to switch colors. So with that being said, I'm going to slip stitch, cut this off. Okay. And then I'm going to now add, well, first of all, let's, let's look at her. She's getting a little fuller. And I'm going to now I'm going to add my light pink back. Okay, but when I add my light pink, let me slip stitch that on. I'm going to chain up my two and I'm going to turn my work. Now, guys, this third row is going to be done in triple crochet stitch. Okay, I'm sure we all know what a triple crochet is, however, if you don't. I'm going to show you. We are going to wrap our yarn around our hook twice. We're going to go in to our stitch, pull out, pull out, pull out. Let's do that again. Wrap around twice. Okay, go in, pull through, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, pull through. All right, let's do it one more time. Go in. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. And they're like just taller stitches to extend this um, shoulder some, okay? So that we can have a little more height to her, a little more drama. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Third row is going to be in triple or triple crochet, whatever you want to call it, okay? where we wrap our yarn around twice on our hook, go in, pull through, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through. All right? So I'll see you guys at the end of this row. 
Okay, guys, I am approaching the end of row three with my first round of triple crochet. All right, let me just end this row with my slip stitch to cut off and switch colors. All right, so let's see here what we have. This is how we are looking, y'all. It's going to be so cute. We are approaching our last and final row, which I'll be switching to my hot pink. And we'll be doing the last row in triple crochet as well, guys. Okay? So, y'all already get the vibe. Y'all get where we're going with this. Once we cut it up and get it together, it's going to look so cute. Not cut it up, but cut the ends. <laughs> It's going to look so cute in this last row. You see, it's going to make a hell of a difference. So, yes, let's move on to row four of our triple crochet. Okay, guys, I'm connected with my pink. And here I am doing my last row of triple crochet. All right. I cannot wait until we are done. And you guys can, like, really see uh -oh, um, how cute this is going to turn out and once it's all put together like omg and i'm only saying why is that doing it and i'm only saying it because i made um a set that was like really similar to this so yeah i'm excited my girl gonna be cute and i have to find me something to make in pink <laughs> for me i was thinking about making the ruffle maxi dress in pink if you don't know what I'm talking about, go through my tutorials and it's just like two to three down. The ruffle maxi dress. I'm thinking I can make that for myself, but like switch the top a little bit so it's not plain. So probably make like a V bikini top look dress. I don't know. Maybe I have to do a tutorial on that too because it's going to be similar, but definitely not the same, especially the top. So yeah, I don't know. Be on the lookout for that tutorial because I do have to make myself something. And I could buy myself something pink, but if she's going to be in crochet, I need to be in late crochet as well, okay? So, anyway. All right, guys. So, we are almost done. Row four of our triple crochet. And I will see you guys once we get to the end of row four. Okay, guys, is it giving Barbie things or what? <laughs> so I am done my first strap. This is super cute. Um, as I'm looking at it, I'm like, wait a minute. I bought my daughter a few years ago a shirt literally like this. It was like a one sleeve ruffle and one sleeve plain. So it's kind of reminding me of that. I'm not going for that look, but I'm always trying to give y'all some different looks if you want to leave it here. This is also cute. It's kind of like a one shoulder type thing or just tuck this other one and make it a one shoulder. But we're going to do the same exact thing that we did on this side, on this side, and then our shirt will be complete, guys. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm going to do that off camera because y'all heard what I said. <laughs> y'all know what to do. First row is going to be three double crochet into each stitch. Second row is one double crochet into each stitch. And the third and fourth row is triple or triple crochet into every stitch and you will come out with this look guys okay super cute i can't get over it so i'm going to do sleeve two and then we'll be back okay guys and here is our finished top i love it i love it i love it she's gonna look so cute here's our four rolls four rolls i feel like the sleeves really did this and guys like what this is absolutely adorable come on Come through, Barbie vibes. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, guys, this is how it looks on. This is so cute. Sleeves are giving just the right amount of stomach. And she's kind of like leaning weird. So it's not even that much stomach out. 
but she looks absolutely adorable and it is so barbie ready guys let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you make it please 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 tag me in it all right so over and out until next time guys